Welcome to the spoken tutorial on getting started with functions. In this tutorial, we will learn to define a function, define functions with arguments, and use doc strings. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, Python 3.4.3, and IPython 5.1.0. To practice this tutorial, you should know how to use tuples. If not, see the relevant Python tutorials on this website. First, we will learn about functions. A function is a portion of code within a larger program that performs a specific task. Functions are useful in reusing the code and eliminate code redundancy. Functions are also used to organize our code into manageable blocks. Here is the syntax for defining the functions. Def is the keyword which defines the function name. Colon is used to mark the end of the function name. Doc string is the documentation string to describe what the function does. It is optional but recommended. Statement makes the function body and it must have four indentation level. Written statement is to return a value from the function and it is also indented by four spaces. Now we will understand the functions with an example. Consider a mathematical function f of x is equal to x squared. Here x is a variable. f of x changes when x changes. Let us define our function f of x. The first line def f of x is used to define the function name and its parameters. The second line uses the function parameters to return the required value. Let us start IPython. Open the terminal. Type IPython3 and press Enter. From here onwards, remember to press the Enter key after typing every command on the terminal. Type def f inside brackets x colon written x asterisk x and press the Enter key two times. Let us call the f of x with different arguments. Type f inside brackets 2 f inside brackets 2.5. It returned 4 and 6.25 respectively. Now let us see how to write functions without arguments. Type the code as shown. It defines a new function named greet which will print no function arguments. Now we will call the function as greet open and close parenthesis. Note that it is not mandatory for a function to return values. The function greet neither takes any arguments nor returns any values. Next, we will learn how to comment in a code. Documenting or commenting code is a good practice. Doc strings or triple quoted comments entered just after the function definition. It implies what the function does. Let us write a function which returns average of two numbers. Type the code as shown. And press the enter key two times. Comments within triple quotes give a clear explanation about the code. Type avg first in mark. Here we can see the doc string of the function avg. Now let us pass 3 and 5 as values to the arguments a and b to the function avg. Type avg inside brackets 3 comma 5. We get 4.0 as output. Pause the video. Try this exercise and then resume the video. Write a function circle which returns the area and perimeter of a circle with a given radius r. Switch back to the terminal for the solution. Type the code as shown.
Press the Enter key two times. The circle function requires us to return two values. A Python function can return any number of values in the form of a tuple. Let us call the function circle as a comma p is equal to circle inside brackets 6. Now type print inside brackets a comma p. We can see the output as area and perimeter of a circle of radius 6. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to define functions in Python, call a function by specifying the function name, write doc strings to a function by putting it as a triple quoted string, pass parameters to a function, return values from a function. Here are some self-assessment questions for you to solve. First, how many arguments can be passed to a Python function? Second, write a function to find the area of a rectangle. And the answers? First, any number of arguments can be passed to a Python function. Second, we can write a function to find the area of a rectangle as def rectangle underscore area inside brackets l comma b colon written l asterisk b. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general queries on Python in this forum. FOSI team coordinates the TBC project. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. For more details, visit this website. This is Priya from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.